Hey friends, it's Hope, and today I am here to do a Q&A video. A couple weeks back, I had asked you guys to feel free and ask me any questions that you wanted to know about me, so today I'm here to do the answer part of that Q&A. I hope this video isn't too, too long, and if I don't answer everybody's questions, I apologize. I'm just gonna do the best that I can. So to start it off, I have a question from my friend Rachel over at Rachel Hannah, and she asked me a question a while back that made me think I should probably do a Q&A video at some point. So yeah, thank you Rachel for your initial question which made me get inspired to do a Q&A video. So her question is, what size barrel your curling iron is? I love your big curls. Thank you. Today, obviously, my hair is straight, but when I do curl my hair, I actually use this wand. It is by Baby Bliss, and it is a one and a half inch wand at the top, and then I think it goes down to half an inch or maybe it's an inch. If I do find the information for this specific wand, I will go ahead and link that down below. But I love this wand because all you do is just take a section of hair, you start from the top and then you go down like this. I hold it on for a few seconds and then when you release it, it creates a really big curl and they're loose curls as well. I love it with second day hair, it's my favorite. So yeah, the Baby Bliss curling wand is the one that I use and it usually holds my curl for two days when I use a regular curling iron it goes flat in hours so I definitely suggest the wand over the curling iron the next question comes from my friend Tanya at Tanya Atkinson she asked hope which book or books do you wish had a sequel for me this has to be Eleanor and Park I don't know if you guys are with me on this but you probably are if you've read Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell I desperately want to know what the heck happens to our characters. Do they end up together? My optimism side says that they do, but oh, that agony with that last page and the last three words, what the heck, friends? I need a sequel. Rainbow Rowell, please, please, please write a sequel. The next question comes from Steve over at The Lawn Gnome, and his question is, who are some of your inspirations on YouTube, and who are your favorite current players on the Mets, Jets, Knicks, and Rangers? Okay, so I am going to say that my biggest inspiration on booktube was actually Priscilla from The Readables. She was the first book blogger that I had found. I watched her videos. I was completely in awe with her editing style, the content she created, how well she articulated her thoughts and feelings about books. Like, she blew me away. So she was my main inspiration to do my own channel, and I'm so grateful that I found her. So if you guys have been around my channel the last couple months, you do know that I am a huge sports fan and my whole family is from New York and I'm a huge daddy's girl. So whatever my dad liked sports wise, I liked and he liked all New York sports teams. Of course, I love my LSU Tigers, go Tigers, because I now live in Louisiana and my husband and his family is from Louisiana. And once you marry into a family of LSU lovers, like you just you're required to love LSU. But yeah, so with my New York sports teams, this is going to sound absolutely crazy, but currently I don't really have a favorite New York Mets player. My all-time favorite New York Mets player was Mike Piazza. He was a catcher. And then after that, Jose Reyes, he was a shortstop. But really after Piazza and Reyes left the Mets, I really haven't had a favorite, favorite Mets player since then. Now with the Jets, I am by far a Darrell Rivas fan, Rivas Island baby. He is so great on defense and I was so upset when he went to the Patriots, but don't worry friends, he's back now with the Jets. Now my favorite Knicks player definitely is Carmelo Anthony. I have watched Carmelo Anthony since he played for Syracuse. I watched him when he went to the Nuggets and I remember the exact place and the exact day I was when the Knicks signed him. I was over the moon ecstatic that he was finally with my Knicks. And last but not least, my favorite player from the New York Rangers, which is a hockey team if you guys are not aware. Um, Henrik Lundqvist, hands down, my favorite. Not only is he the most amazing 
hockey player and goalie I have ever seen, but he is so freaking handsome. Like I can't even. The next question comes from Amanda at Virgos Rule. And she says, hopefully be my book buddy, of course. And what series or book have you reread the most? That is definitely The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I probably reread the book like five or six times. It's a little bit ridiculous, I know. And um, that also includes me listening to the audiobook. So yeah, that's by far my most reread book. The next question comes from my beautiful friend Sarah over at Sarah Ella. She asked multiple questions. So the first question was my favorite Damon moment in Obsidian. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And my favorite moment in Obsidian was when Damon and Katie were trying to figure out how to get the trace off of Katie because she had this trace on her from being exposed to Damon's powers and there was a lot of tension and a lot of goodness in that scene and in that moment so that was my all-time favorite. Question number two was the best thing about living in Louisiana. Hands down it has to be the food. The food is amazing here. My favorite thing to eat is barbecued shrimp and grits. Mmm, delicious, absolutely adore. Barbecue shrimp is like my go-to meal if I'm at a new restaurant and I don't know what to order. I always order barbecue shrimp. The third question is my favorite thing to do on my day off. While I was living in Missouri, I loved playing sand volleyball or bocce ball outside. But I would say now in Louisiana, like, my favorite thing to do on my day off is either hang out with some of my girlfriends, whether that is doing a craft, watching a movie. I love playing board games, like I'm a huge game person. The next question is the book or books I am most looking forward to reading in 2016. I have not picked up a Morgan Matson book yet and I'm really excited to finally read one next year. And pretty much my most anticipated book next year is any book that Colleen Hoover puts out. I don't know what the next one she's putting out, but I'm anticipating it already. The next question is from Lasai and she says, do you have a Goodreads page? I don't see a link on here and I do. I think my Goodreads name is just Hope Ortigo, like all my stuff, but I will go ahead and link my Goodreads link down below if you guys are also interested in checking that out. The next question comes from Neva62, which is my sister, and she says, hmm, I think I know a lot about you, but here it goes. One, you always have the cutest lip colors. Thanks, girl. What is your favorite lipstick, lip gloss, brand name, shade, etc.? Um, friends, let me tell you, the shade that I'm rocking right now is called Leather. It is from ColourPop. It is their matte lippy stick. I am obsessed. Like, this shade is goals. If I could wear purple lipstick everywhere, I totally would. Um, I think that their lipstick products are $5. They're super, super affordable. If you also love lip products and you guys are looking for a really fun shade, I definitely suggest leather and they have a ton of color options on there. But when I'm not rocking my purple lip, I do like this shade. 360 Euphora and it is by CoverGirl. I actually found this while I was with Haven and it was at a like 60 to 80 percent off warehouse and I think I paid like $1.99 for it. The wear time on both of these is amazing. The coverage is beautiful. The best thing about fall are my dark lippy colors. She also asked me what my hobbies are outside of reading. It kind of goes along with Sarah Ellis question. I love to play board games. I love hanging out with my girlfriends. I love crafting. I'm not great at cooking and baking, but I do attempt it every now and then. And lastly, she asked me, who is your best younger sister? Oh, Haven, you're so sneaky. But since you asked this question, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you. The next question is from Tracy Olson, and she asked, what is your favorite book as a kid? By far, that was Junie B. Jones. Junie B. Jones really got me into reading. She also asked me who is my favorite author and why. I definitely think that has to be Colleen Hoover or Jennifer L. Armentrout. The reason why I love them so much is because I love the way they write. I love the characters that they create in each of their books. I feel like their books are so easy to get lost in and I love gushing and raving about them. And lastly, she asked what is my favorite color and that is yellow. Jade over at Bedtime Bookworm asked what is the in my life Library thing is it a tag or something you do occasionally in my library videos are library books that I have hauled from the library or things that I've gotten from the library I'm a huge library advocate I love them I will link my playlist down below it is not something that I originally created I don't know who did the only original series that I created was my best in books and that is just a video series that usually happens at the end of the month it doesn't replace my wrap-ups but I talk about some of the best things that I read in that month 
So that's really the only original occurring video that I do. I'm totally going to butcher this person's name, but I think it's Lelinos. And she asked me where and maybe who are you spending Christmas with? I will be in Missouri for Christmas. I'll be going back home to spend it with my family. I'm super excited. I miss them so much. I'm hoping it does not snow because I'm driving there. And if it snows and it's like crazy weather, then I'm not gonna be able to make it. So please pray that it does not snow in Missouri because I wanna go home to spend time with my family. My friend Hannah from Hannah Love Book asked me a couple questions too. The first one is what is my favorite type of candle pretty much anything from Bath and Body Works my favorite right now is this cinnamon caramel swirl mmm it smells like a freaking homemade cinnamon roll love it so much I just bought it and I'm super excited to light it and the next one is what is my favorite season and why it's always going to be summer. I love the summer months. I love when it's warm. I love when I get to go spend time outside. I love being at the pool and reading. Like, mm, that is my favorite. The next one are, where are my favorite reading spots? I love reading in bed, but usually I read on the couch, so nothing super fancy. My friend Rachel from Rachel Hannah, who originally inspired me to do a video like this, completely by accident and she had no idea, but she asked how Henry got his name. If you guys don't know, Henry is my cat. He actually lives in Missouri. I am going to put up pictures of him so you guys can see him and all of his goodness. But Henry got his name because me and my sisters, we all have names starting with an H. So when we got Henry, we wanted to keep that H name up. It took us a long time to figure out what we wanted him to be named because there aren't a lot of guy H names out there. But we came up with Henry. It kind of stuck and he's adorable and I love him. The next question she asked is, have you been to any other countries? If you have, which ones? Or if not, where, are you, where would you go? And I have been to other countries. I've been to Mexico, Costa Rica, Canada. I've been to Italy. I've been really fortunate to get to travel and actually in a few weeks, I'm gonna be going to Nairobi, Kenya. I'll be in um, Cairo, Egypt. I'm also going to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. So yeah, it's gonna be a really exciting trip. I hope I make it back safe. I will maybe do a vlog or something about my upcoming travels very soon. The book reader asked me which booktuber inspired you to do booktube. That was Priscilla from Priscilla Reads. Any tips for starting a booktube channel? What editing software do you use? The editing software that I use is just whatever came on my uh, Mac, so I guess it's iMovie. And tips for starting a booktube channel. Honestly, I think that just being yourself is probably the best tip that I could give anybody. I think the booktubers that I love and I watch, the reason why I enjoy their channel so much is because they are just so real and true to themselves. They aren't trying to be anybody else. I'm probably gonna butcher this person's name too, but Sakara Han 91 said, congrats, thank you. My questions are, can you speak, read any other languages? If so, which ones? Do you have any foreign books? I don't have any foreign books. I can read and speak some Japanese. My grandmother is actually from Okinawa, Japan. In high school, I took three years of Japanese. It's been a long time since I've been in high school. So unfortunately, like the saying goes, if you don't use it, you lose it. I haven't really practiced my Japanese in quite some time. I still can read some. And like I said, I still can speak some. But unfortunately, I'm not as fluent as I used to be. My lovely friend Abby from Abby Reads says, what song would be the soundtrack to your life? That is so, so tough. And the reason why I say that is because I love music so much. And the reason why I love music is because any song could really relate to that specific moment in your life. And I feel like a lot of songs throughout my life I have really been able to relate to. I would say over the last year, a year and a half since I've moved to Louisiana, which was a huge life change. Um, I would say that So Long So Long by Dashboard Confessional was probably like the soundtrack of my life for like the first couple months that I was leaving home. And then after I left home, I realized how fortunate I was to have so many friends and family members who loved me enough to miss me while I was gone. And so I would say that the last 
year that I've been here. Um, Without Love by Nate Roos was probably the soundtrack of my last year just because I really am nothing without the love of my family and friends. But yeah, girl, I have so many songs that would easily be the soundtrack to my life. We just don't have time to talk about all of them. My friend Lindsay from Lindsay Tastic says, Hi Hope, haven't talked to you in so many months. How are you? I'm so good, Lindsay. How are you? Um, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Totally did. My questions are, what did you study in college? I was actually an advertising, public relations, and marketing major. I wanted to go into advertising and be an advertising ad exec. I realized though that I'm not cutthroat. I'm not a cutthroat person. My personality and my strengths definitely are in nonprofit world and helping people out that way. Thankfully, my degree was pretty broad to where I could go into what I do now. Her next question is, since you are a huge fan of LSU, did you go there? I actually did not. I went to a small private school in Missouri. Then she asked, how did me and my husband meet? My husband and I met at a internship in college. He had just recently moved to Missouri from Louisiana. Vienna. I was there getting ready to graduate. I think I had a semester left. We met in the workroom. We started talking about sports. We both equally love sports so, so much. So we started talking about sports. He told me that one day he was going to take me to a real college football game and he stayed true to his promise. We had only been dating for a very short time when we went to an LSU game in Baton Rouge. It was phenomenal. It was life-changing. I love LSU so much now. She also asked me who my bookish boyfriends are for the exception of Damon. Girl, how could you do that to me? But uh, I would definitely say Holder from Hopeless is by far one of my favorite favorites. Perry from the Under the Never Sky trilogy. And girl, I love me some Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars. All right, so I am back with my last two questions. I'm sorry if the position or the lighting changed, my battery just died. So I did a little quick charge and like I said, on to my last two questions. So the next question is from Trina over at Between Chapters. She asks, which video are you most proud of? And is there a video you regret posting or embarrassed to look back on? Honestly, probably all the videos up until like the last six months are probably really embarrassing. I like to think that the quality of my videos have gotten better over the last year. It's really funny to look back on those beginning videos. They're pretty, pretty bad. Um, and then for the video that I'm most proud of that I made, it's probably my video series, which is Best in Books. It was something that I was inspired to do from the beauty community. And it is a video series that I just talk about some of the best things that I read in that month within certain categories, I didn't know if I would actually stick to it because it's not something that everybody does here on booktube like a wrap up or a TBR or a haul. It was just something that I was doing on my own. So I didn't know if it, I would be motivated to continue on doing the video. But thankfully, I'm really proud of myself that I have. I've been doing it now for a little over a year and it's honestly my most favorite video to make. And the last question comes from Sarah B. It says, have you found that your reading habits have changed since starting booktube and definitely before I started booktube or like at the beginning of my booktube life um, all I read was dystopians I didn't think that I would pick up any other book than dystopians or dystopian trilogies that was just my jam but since booktube I have been introduced to YA contemporaries paranormal fiction YA fantasy reads and I've even picked up some adult thrillers, psychological thrillers. I picked up a horror story since then. Like I have broadened my reading experience. And honestly, I can say that that is all because of booktube. All right, friends. Well, that does it for my Q&A video. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me today and listening to all the answers to your guys' questions. If for some reason you had a question and you just didn't have time to post it, feel free and just go ahead and ask me down below. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye.